So I'm splitting away from Danny, and I'm going over here to look at the baggies. Let's see what, oh, it's plastic. I did not expect that to be plastic. Let's see what that says in the back here. All right. What you looking at over there? What do you see? Oh my goodness. Noah, they kicked us out. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Well, we were supposed to go to the swap meet tonight, but it just didn't work out. It didn't work out and I didn't want to be filming in the dark. So Noah says, let's go to a thrift store. I'm like, okay. So we are at Savers. Hmm. And we're going to get some Noah cam. Yes, there will be Noah cam. So. You gonna be my luck charm, my good luck charm tonight? Find some good saver stuff? Possibly. Possibly. I will take that, I will take it. All right, so I'll let Noah pick the lucky card and we'll get in here and we will see what we can find for resale. Let's get shop done. Let's do it. All right, in we go, Noah. Oh, wait, wait, we forgot the bags. All right, we got our bags. Now we just need a lucky cart. Which one, Noah? That one? All right, Noah has chosen. Orange tags, 50% off. All right, they take us right to the art in this sh store. I almost said the show. <laughs> this store, oh, these are kind of pretty. Look at that. What does it say? They are where the angels hide. There's two of them. That's why I keep saying they. Those are really pretty. Oh my gosh, look at these, Noah. Look at these little doggies. That's funny. Sorry about the rug. Catch of the day. Oh, he's carrying a fish. And that one says Diva Dog. $3 each. You know what? Those are cute enough that uh, I think those would go really well on whatnot. All right, Noah is heading over to look at the baggies. We'll catch up with him in a moment we're gonna keep looking at the art and see what we can find not seeing much of anything else wake up and be awesome I like that sentiment oh look at this I don't really like this part but I like all the, oh wait, he's not even stuck on there anymore. I do like all the little birds. You know what? I can't. It's it's not worth it. All right, two stores with Noah and two stained glass pieces. Look at this. Oh, let's get this little kitty cat down. Now it does not appear that that's actual stain. That looks like it's painted because it's coming off, and that is a little problematic. If it was actual stained glass, I'd be okay with it, but I don't know now. I think people would still like this, but at $10, I need to be able to sell it for 30 or more, and I'm not, I'm not sure it's 30 bucks worth, as sad as that is. And it's also not something that I can really ship, so it would have, oh, look, I found another one. This one says, bear with me. Oh, good, now we have four. Uh, it's not something that uh, I can ship, so it'd have to sell in the store. All right, now we got four of those doggies. So I'm splitting away from Danny, and I'm going over here to look at the baggies. Because there's a whole bunch of different stuff here that uh, Danny's probably not going to go over. So I'm going to go through all this. Starting at all the kitchen-y stuff, I'm not really in a whole bunch of need for it. We have a whole... A whole kitchen full of stuff that I uh, don't even get to everything. For those of you wondering why I call my mom Danny on a video, it's just because people don't always recognize her as my mom, but they'll always recognize her as Danny. So 
I switch between the two. I call her mom at home, but I call her Danny for video purposes. And I'm going through, getting out of the kitcheny bits and into like the crafty stuff. Playing cards. There are some good playing cards. I don't. I don't think those are anything special though. And lots of art stuff that Rachel would probably like. But I'm not all that interested in having a bunch of art stuff. Because uh, I don't really do art. These little eggs back here are cool. But I'm not seeing a whole lot over in this section. But we got a lot of baggies to go through. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Because the music is quite loud. Very, very loud. Noah is over there baggy hunting and filming. So watch the would be intertwined here in the video as we go. Because you guys uh, overwhelmingly asked for more Noah cams, so we aim to please. Little hobby piece. Oh, he's really cute. He looks like a bumpkins. Let's see if he's got a mark underneath here. He does, he is a bumpkins. Look at that. $3.99, not so bad. I think we will pick up the Bumpkins Fire Donkey. Is he a donkey or a horse? He might be a horse. All right, we'll pick him up. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was a flashlight, like a big old flashlight. Yeah, as, as we said in the intro, we were thinking of going to the swap meet, but it's already so late. We have no flashlight so far as we can see that isn't a black light. And, uh,. Yeah, I can't, uh, can't film good video in the dark. I do like dream catchers. For those of you who don't know, I got a, I got a YouTube channel and, uh, my helmet has a dream catcher on it. It's part of the, uh, design on the helmet. It's very nice. I'm not seeing a whole lot yet. And we're nearly at the end. I do see some fake fruit, so I take that back. Two little fake apples. They are just generic apples though. And behind that, I see a little figurine. These are kind of cool. And they are orange tag. I believe orange tag is the tag that is on sale. So I'm going to go see what Danny thinks of this little goodie bag. I thought those might have been a little bit of a score, but no. They are just cheap resin. Shells here, they don't feel like uh, genuine shells, but they're asking $3.99, and uh, I don't think they're worth all that much. Oh, we got some nice jewelry display pieces. $2.49, that's not a bad price. I don't know that I have any this size. I like them because they're flat. Versus the ones that like like stand the ones that stand up are nice, but you got to have levels in merchandising. So I may pick up a couple of these for the store because it's a nice, it's a nice low profile way to do some necklaces. So I think I'll I'll pick those up. Yeah, we got some fruit plaques, made in China, all copyrights reserved. There's no name. Oh, there's one more. No name on them. Ooh, that has an interesting something on the lid. Let's see what, oh, it's plastic. I did not expect that to be plastic. Let's see what that says on the back here. Class the ordinary price of the cigars herein. Contained is intended by the manufacturer to be more than 15 cents each and no more than 20 cents each. Manufactured by House of Windsor. So it was something to do with cigars, a cigar box. Yeah, look at that. That's kind of interesting. But it's not really my, it's not really my thing. Oh, wow. It's like a jewelry business went out of business. These are $4.49 for those. A couple of these would not be bad to have either. You can put rings in there and individual pieces. I think I'll find a couple of good ones of these too. I'm going to split off on my own little adventure here and continue looking at some kitcheny stuff. This has caught my attention. It's like a corn holder for a, for a grill. 
I definitely, I have a, I have a corn holder for our grill, and I never use it. I usually like to cook the corn directly on our uh, in-house griddle, and it makes some very, very nice corn, albeit it is a little bit noisy because the corn, uh, it pops when you are cooking it like that. These are cute. I know I've seen a few of them in Danny's videos before, and I don't think they are anything, but I do very much like them. What does that say? Loop, loop, pala? That's not bad. Not bad. It's just one of those like decoupage books. A friend like you. Oh, it's a musical one. Seven forty nine. Oh, I like this little glass shelf. I guess I'm like in display mode. Again, little layers, even if they're little subtle layers, work really good in merchandising. So I'm going to pick that up to put up on my space at the Good Stuff Thrift Store. What is it? Cool basket. Reminds me of the, it's a Lindsay Jordan, reminds me of the bread dough baskets we used to make back in the day. Can't believe I'm saying back in the day. Goodness. That looks like a hobby piece, but it's it's an interesting one. All right, we're gonna leave that. We're gonna go around the corner here. Oh, looks like we have an angel theme going here. This is Hallmark. I have actually several of these. Maybe I sold them. I might have sold them, uh, but I had several of those. They're not very high dollar. But then there's an alabaster owl bookend see made in Italy for $4.49 I think oh there's another little signature on there too FG Kova is that what that says you know what I think we will pick him up on this end cap we have some little wood sconces they're kind of like uh, home interiors quality not super high end or anything. And then there's two of these that are metal. Made in China though. They are kind of cool, but I think those are like home interiors too. So we will leave those. Let's see what we have on the candle side of things. This is a neat candle holder. Who makes you crystal? crystal clear made in Taiwan it just it reminds me I think it's supposed to be leaves but it reminded me of seaweed for a moment I guess that's why I was attracted to it it had a very seaweed-esque essence to it what are these uh, what are you like little leaves a little pair of those Ooh, honey, get back on the shelf. Actually, you're kind of nice. Hmm. I see, you see what I see on there, the little pattern? And I'm looking over here and I thought this was the same, but it's not. I thought there was a pair. It's not a pair. I mean, I guess not being a pair is okay. I'm still a little OCD when it comes to wanting a pair of candle holders. Who's with me on that? I'm trying. I'm trying to get with the program and go with this whole missy, mi missy, missy, matchy kind of a vibe that's acceptable nowadays. But I'm still, I still like things lined up. <laughs> and then there's a turtle bank. He's just made in China. He's like a dollar store turtle bank. So sadly, sadly, we are going to leave him and keep on the quest for something better. Something, ooh, like a fish candle holder? What do we got? Oh, he's cracked. And he's a newer piece. He is not old or anything. Marble? Oh, that is heavy marble. It comes from Threshold. It was $15 in 2020. Let's see, is there any gems here in the metal? I don't see anything. I'm always a little bit more disorganized than Danny is going through all the stuff. 
I definitely uh, did not inherit her organization with uh, staying on track. But I am doing my best here. And I'm not seeing a ton. This is kind of cool. But it is... I guess we can see the bottom. It has no mark, so it's probably just some, uh, some cheap tray. I do see an acorn up here, though. A set of acorns. It says dishwasher and microwave safe. So it is just another generic piece, but it is cool. And there's two of them. I always like these little jars, too. These little jars right here. Where you do this to open them are always, always fun. I don't think they, I don't think they are anything though. We got a lot of them at the store. But going down here, I'm seeing some big stuff. This has caught my eye, and it is sort of a two-end job, but we're gonna make do. It is just a made in China, but it is very nice. It doesn't, it doesn't look bad at all. Oh, but it's got a little bit of a chippy. But further behind, I see this really cool snowman. It is... Handmade for... I don't even know how to pronounce that. And they are asking $7.99 for the snowman. I'm not sure he's worth that. A bunch of glass on the middle shelf here. But I'm going to go all past that. And go over here to this shelf. I'm not seeing a bunch off the bat. But there's always a chance that something made its way over here. These are always fun. The little drying racks. So on my way back to uh, Danny, I am just looking through the art once more. Because there were a few things that caught my eye that I don't think she saw. One in particular, this is awesome. This is really awesome. It's a like shadow box coffee shop art. It is, it is quite big. But that is really cool. I'm gonna see if I uh, can convince her to buy this for me. You're back to the coffee shop, aren't you? I think Noah really likes this. And Noah really wants to get this. What does it say on the little door? Uh, it says... What does it say? Open eight hours from morning seven to 11.30. Afternoon one to five. And so it's got the hours on it. That is really sweet. Okay, $5.99, put her in the cart. Right, we have some funny looking dolls and Noah's bringing me something to look at. Oh, those are kind of interesting little eggs. They're like twine. I wish we were a little closer to Easter, but you know what I'm thinking? I could make of my little assemblage things that I'm doing. I could see using these somewhere. So good find Noah, thank you. All right, now we're in some more household type items. Let's see, Pennsylvania Dutch Country Mug. It's interesting, look at this little painted shovel. Ah. It's actually a decal. It is not even painted. Oil and vinegars, they're missing their stoppers. Made in Japan, five dollars each. And cute little bear. Chris, 1982, made that little bear. It was, uh, I can't read who the company was that made the, the mold, but the paint job is quite nice, I must say. And then we have these little carousel horse. Why do I feel like I've seen these before? 
I almost feel like I've picked these up before and they're somewhere in my inventory. Gotta tell ya. I think this would have had a lid. So it's $4.50 a piece. And then you've got the larger teapot. Oh, darn. His mouth is broken. Well, that does it. See, if he'd have been okay, I would not have wanted to leave just one piece behind. But he's not okay. Can't get him. What's he priced at? $6.49, which wouldn't have been bad had he not been busted. And this, I'm pretty sure, is missing a lid. Or one of these is missing a lid, because that's a creamer. Okay, so he's not missing a lid, but he's missing a lid. I'm still, I'm almost tempted to just get the creamer, just to get one of them. I think, I think I am going to save the horse creamer. What do you think? But then I'm feeling guilty. I'm feeling guilty leaving him. I don't know. You could put a plant in him. All right, fine. I'll take him. I'll save him. First curl and first tooth little set. That's really sweet. She is not glass. She is plastic. We got another teapot that is kitty cats. Taking the lid out before I turn it upside down so I can not break the lid. Not for food use. May poison food. Ah, that goes against all of my principles. So I will not buy that. I mean, why? Why even make something that you can be poisoned by? Why? What is the point? Oh, somebody's whole carousel collection got donated. And I don't see any that are really good quality or anything. $3.50 a piece. <gasps> Crystal whales. Mama and baby whale. $5.49. Not a bad price. That one I think I will pick up. Over here. I mean, these guys are cute too, but they are. Oh, uh, what does that say? Made in Taiwan. I mean, they're vintage. They're cute, but I don't. I would pay 99 cents for those. Oh, he is leather. He is a little leather bank of a cat. $4.50. Are you worth 450? You actually need to be worth more like 15 in order for me to pick you up. And I'm not, I'm not totally sure you are. But I do have a lot of cat fans. And look, he's licking his leg, which is kind of adorable. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I get him. I just realized I guilt shop. I guilt shop because I feel guilty leaving things behind. I really do. It kills me. Look at this guy, Boston Terrier. By Livingstone. He is 15. I know I have to leave him behind. <sighs> I wish he wasn't 15. He's really adorable. But alas, this is a willow tree. Because somebody has wrote a sister message on here. Happy birthday. And it is $10. That one's $6.50. That one's $5.50. 650 it's a little too much for us for resale so we'll keep moving all right what you looking at over there what do you see that's kind of cool that's got Noah vibe. oh it's broken it's right cool. there it is cool. it's got a good Noah vibe though oh did you see all the fakeness here Noah It's our little. Don't even make me look. It's our little fakeness shelf. Oh no, there's not much here. Not much here. That is actually a nice planter. Wonder what that would have cost where it came from. Seven fifty. I need some big planters like this. This is nice because it's not too heavy. So once you fill it with dirt and the plant and everything, it's not too heavy. I think I need this. I think I need this for something. I don't know what yet. But for something, because I'm going to grow stuff. Let's look through the baskets. Looking for... Oh, anything that's like high quality, which does include the longer burgers, but doesn't 
It, I mean, I'm not, it doesn't have to be long a burger. Oh no, the store is closing in 20 minutes, Noah. Oh no. Oh, that's tragic. I thought they were open later. Well, we're gonna have to do a, we're gonna have to do a power shop, Noah. Why don't you head over to the toys and the plush? And then we can uh, just make the best of time. See if there's anything good. All right. So I have left again to go look at some of the sporting goods over here. I got some bowling balls for sale. I don't. Uh, I don't do any bowling. But uh, is that a? That's a big old like weight on the bottom of the bag. That's weird. Uh, up here they have a skateboard. I also don't do any skating. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty much relegated to just, uh, just my motorsport. That is, uh, that is what I enjoy doing and that's what I have the most fun doing. Going through looking at some of the phone cases they have. A controller, although it doesn't seem doesn't seem like anything special. Not seeing a whole lot over here. Oh, that's funny. What is that cat? It's like a, a cat pin? What is that? I think it's like a cat pin. That's really funny. And going down a little bit further into the Barbie section. I'm not all that interested in any of that. Stuffed animals and all that. There are some good ones, but I haven't the slightest of clues what they might be. So I'm just gonna walk on by, keep my eye out for anything that interests me. I always shop with what I would do in mind. Because I'm always looking for, for things for my room, things for my hobbies, things that I enjoy. But I'm not seeing anything. I'm just gonna skim by the toy section. There are there are some hidden gems. Lots of board games up at the top. We still have a whole bunch of board games that we need to play. And a bunch of stuffed animals over here. But they're all, all priced up a little bit. So you would need to find the ones at a discount. Toy guns. My mom doesn't like me playing with them, but uh, I like messing with the toy guns. <laughs> Don't let her know. Ooh. This might be something. It's a, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's plastic. There are some good model cars out there. In fact, I have a few of them in my room. Which you, uh, you can't see. I don't have them on my channel. But in some of our past, uh, adventures, we've picked up some cool stuff. And, uh, one of them recently for my birthday is a model cart. Not a go-kart. An old racing series that doesn't uh, doesn't race anymore. They're like a formula car, but uh, they got a lot more power and a lot less aerodynamics. But that racing series has unfortunately ended. It was cool though. Nothing here. This is a pretty little Hollywood Regency piece. Two ninety nine. Wish I had a bottom. I can do something with this. I can do something with this. Okay, let's see what other cool things are in the metals. That's like a 70s gothic looking piece there. Now, they put their metal and their wood on the same shelf, which is kind of cool. Those two things are kind of work together. 
Let's see. But I don't see anything else. I do see that one thing that Noah liked. Yeah, I would have I would have geared toward that and looked closer too. And let's see. Small appliances, not exciting. And because our time is limited, I'm going to skim past a lot of this stuff I would normally look at just because I'd rather get to the stuff that has the potential for me for resale, you know, like the kitchen wares. So we will get through all this kitchen stuff here. And those are pretty little stoneware cups. There's no pricing on them though. They're not that exciting. They're nice, but they're not exciting nice, if that makes sense. We've got some yellow Temptations plates. Again, I have slowed down on picking the Temptations up because it's kind of one of those things that's catching on that people start picking it up because they hear about it and then they race the price to the bottom, which hurts us all. And we just got to let it go and look for other things. Look at these cherry bowls. There are two of them for $3.50 each. I really, really like those, and I'm grabbing them. Yeah, that little phenomenon has happened with many, 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 many items. And it's just a thing that's not going to go away. It's never going to go away because there is always going to be somebody willing to make less money than you. That is a Knott's Berry Farm little vintage jam jar. Unfortunately, the paint is coming off quite a bit on it. Pretty little... Turkish coffee decanter, I think. Oh, that's a cute little chip and dip, but it's small. I really like the size of that, and it is signed. It looks like a, a 90s piece. I mean, how many times do you want to just have a nice little personal plate of chip and dip, and uh, you put it on a paper plate and it all kind of runs together? I really like this. So we are on a time crunch here. I'm going to go through this aisle right here and try and find what I think that my mom is going to like looking at. Immediately what catches my eye are these. I don't know if they are anything. They have some weight to them and the weight is all right at the, uh, right at the stem. Those are very nice. But there are a lot of them, and usually when there's a lot of them, they aren't the highest of value. These are cool though, too, but you can even see like the little seam there. They're very cheaply made. They aren't one solid piece of glass. Oh. Well, she's, she's got to look at this. I can't read that. But for $3.99, this cat mug right here is going to be something she looks at. Going back through, I did spot this Coca-Cola glass. I Is it plastic? It feels like plastic, but it's very heavy. And it clanks. So it might be glass. Coca-Cola, old Coca-Cola stuff is valuable. So who knows? That might be something she looks at as well. I'm not seeing a whole lot else otherwise. She might look at this, but it has just that cheap stem again. It's not the highest of values. Ooh, curvy stem. I like these ones. These ones are fun. And this is one big solid piece of glass. There's no clear divide here where uh, they would have been cheap. But I will move these over here because there are more of them back there. So I'm going to uh, precariously get these out so she has an easier time looking at them. So I'm just exploring around seeing what we might have missed. And I'm seeing this little Christmas village. I don't think it is worth anything of value, but I love the little miniature villages. They are 
Oh, we got five minutes left. Oh no, we gotta hurry. But yeah, I love uh, I love little miniature villages, especially the little Christmas ones, and you've got little trees and everything. Those are awesome. And I would decorate my room like that if I could. In fact, there's a uh, there's some YouTube videos out there of people making like little little scenes and things, and they're always awesome to me. It's a little Tesla coil in a thing. I'm not sure it works, but if it does, it's not it's not charged. But these are also those are really cool. I don't think I would put one in my room just for the sake of uh, I don't think they interact with other electronics very nicely, but it is cool. Oh, that's cool. It's like a, a fake book. Cause it's not uh, it's not actual paper. It is seven forty nine though. It is not. I don't think it's worth that. But it is really cool. Those are some cool aqua colored ball jars for four forty nine each. Four forty nine and four ninety nine. Go figure. I'm not sure what these go for. Those are really nice, but I don't I don't know enough about the market on those to know if. I can pay that. And I don't really have time to sit here and look stuff up. I will say that too. So I will leave that for somebody else who knows a little better than I do on that. And I will keep looking for what I call the no-brainers. The no-brainers for Danny. Oh, they're, they're telling us the registers are going to close down. In five minutes. It's too much pressure. It's too much pressure. Okay, let's look at the glassware and then we're gonna have to go check out, I guess. Goodness gracious. Well, it's just the way it is. Sometimes it happens. Yeah. So the Goodwill stay open till 9, so I just assumed that the Savers stayed open till 9. That was my mistake. We got a late start today. A lot going on at the store. I could not get home. That is a cute little cat mug, but he is chipped on the nose. Sometimes it just is what it is, right? Pretty green plates. I mean, it's not like we're going away with an empty cart. We got stuff that made the trip worthwhile. Let's see. Little strawberry plates, but they're a little bit faded. All right. Nine. Yeah, Goodwill stays open until nine. I'm a creature of habit that way. All right, we're just peeking through the lamps real quick and then we have to head up and go check out I don't see anything. Yeah, I was just talking to an employee. But look at what's sitting right here on the shelf, staring at me. Oh, that's beautiful. It is Legno, made in Italy, wood. It's a Florentine tray for $4.99. Last score of the night. All right, well, we got to go get checked out because they are closing. And uh, we still ended up with a cart full, Noah. So stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and what it sold or what it will sell for. What it's worth. What it's worth. What it's worth. All right. Which is what it will sell for. <laughs> Hopefully. But look, now there's a line for the self-checkout. We could have kept shopping. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. All right. We're going to get checked out.
why they kicked us out. At least we got footage. <laughs> we did. At least we found some goodies. We spent, we did. we spent a lot there. That was a lot of finds. We spent a little over 100. Well, they saw the recap. I don't, did I put everything in the recap? I don't know if I put any. Because some of it I got for a store display. All those little jewelry pieces. They were really cool. But, uh, yeah, they kicked us out. I, it'll be interesting for me to see what you looked at. Because I didn't even get to go to the I toy department. A lot of different areas. I didn't get to go through the baggies. I'm going to have to shop through your eyes. I didn't get to see what you went through, but I I edit the videos now. <laughs> I'm taking back over on editing. He is. He is. I'm very excited about it. So, with that, we're going to go get something to eat. You hungry? I am. All right. You go be profitable. Go be profitable. And make it fun. And make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.